Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Mortgage Coach Friday call. Today is all about productivity. Um, as everybody on this call knows, we, we, we rally around the values and the tactics and the best practices of Darren Hardy's insane productivity. Uh, on me from a leadership on this call today to help me lead the call is Michelle Town. What's up, Michelle? Hi, everybody. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Right on, yeah, fired up for the weekend. Uh, I am really going to try to drive this call for 30 minutes. You know, typically we drive a, a one-hour call, but knowing that uh, we got a big holiday and recovery and family time and lifestyle time is super important, um, I just think let's let's try to drive a 30-minute call. Now that is not to say if the you know the questions are rocking and the topic is flowing. I'm going to hard stop everybody. You know, I don't have a hard stop. Michelle doesn't have a hard stop. But we just we felt like, you know, a great theme for this call is as someone who is a high achiever, as someone that's trying to improve productivity coming into Memorial Day, <laughs> let's figure out how to, how to do an hour's worth of collaboration in 30 minutes. Uh, so we're, we're two minutes into the call. Uh, if you do have a question, a theme, a topic, you can either post that in questions of this go to uh, webinar control panel, or you can raise your hand. Uh, I think everybody knows how we roll. If no one does raise their hand, I will start calling on folks. So uh, uh, be ready. I, I could be calling on you any minute now. Uh, formulate your thoughts. You know what? What are you? What are you going to do this weekend to come out of next Tuesday? Just being ready to crush it. Uh, I'm going to hand it off to you in a, in a minute, Michelle. I did want to set the table with this thought that, that literally we are days away from June, you know, which I know technically I think, um, oh my gosh, I gotta, I'm trying to do two things at once. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to kill messages. I don't know if anybody noticed that, but I got a, an alert. But we are, we're at mid-year point, you know, so I, I think between the holiday and the fact that we're at mid-year, it's a great time to, to just assess, at, you know, where are we with our goals. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to do a, a big life planning event Memorial Day because I really want to make this Memorial Day, at least for me, you know, focused on lifestyle, family, and fun. And, uh, but, uh, again, I'm a, I'm a business animal, so I'm sure I will, I will fit a few hours of some type of, how am I going to um, make Mortgage Coach more successful and how am I going to better serve our community uh, at Mortgage Coach? There'll, there'll definitely be some thinking going on and some documentation, but, but I think I'm going to just focus on family and fun this weekend. Uh, Michelle, with that said, knowing the theme is how to, how to crush it this holiday and come out fire, more fired up and more folks than ever, uh, anything come to mind that you want to share with everybody? Absolutely. So I am um, in the ludicrous mode of uh, Darren Hardy's um, program, and it's all about dialing in your business plan, your core values, um, making sure you know why you're doing what you're doing. And um, I touched base on this a couple weeks ago, but it has been really on my mind, and we're doing, we're still doing very well in this down market. And, um, and I think it's because we're staying focused on what our core values are and we're staying a cohesive unit and we don't blame people. Our team is super transparent with each other, which is great. It took a while to build that. But the other thing that I, that was on one of Darren's dailies and something that just recently happened to me, and I'd love for everybody to think about it, sometimes we get so focused on the job that we think our job defines us. And something that I've gone through personally in the last 90 days is I had to realize that my job is what I do, not who I am. I would love to hear if anybody else struggles with this. I don't know if it's because it's slow. We have more time to um, be introverted and look at what, what we really want to do. But I'd love to hear if anybody has anything to say about that. I love that. That is a great call out to everyone. Uh, remember, everybody, you can ask questions and you can post those in the GoToWebinar control panel. Uh, let me see who I am going to call on. Let's see, J.C. Coleman. Hey, J.C., what's up? I have unmuted you. Hey, Dave, how's it going? Doing good, man. How are you doing? 
I'm doing well, enjoying uh, finally starting to get some summertime instead of snow, so that's good. Yeah, remind, remind us what market you're in. I know you're uh, well. Park City, Utah. So we're okay. in uh, we're in a ski resort. Life is rough for you, man. That's a that's it's a great brutal. place to be. Absolutely brutal to sit here and stare out the window and have to work. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all good, my friend. Well, those are good problems to have. So, JC, any any answers to the question that Michelle threw out to everyone? That's amazing. Uh, I recently, because I'm going through Ludacris as well, um, on my you know my daily quiet time affirmation type review that I do in the morning, it says strictly on there that you are not defined by your job. It does not make you who you are. Um, we had a horrible Q1 um, where cash kind of came in and took all of our opportunities out. And I was really getting extremely down um, and wondering, questioning everything. Are we doing the right things? Am I leading in the right fashion? I'm really struggling with it. And then you know, around April 13th, the light just came on and now we're just extremely busy but that daily reminder of you know I'm I'm much more than than what my job is you know I I am not I don't have to be changed to chained to this desk there's other things out there um, besides what I do for a living and you know trying to find that balance between you know the things that really matter and what I do is something that I need the constant reminder. So every morning I remind myself that, hey, you know, you deserve to be out there. You're not, you're not chained to this. Love that. So a uh, couple thoughts. So folks, you know, they've referenced ludicrous, ludicrous a few times. Uh, you know, the core program that we have with Darren Hardy is insane productivity with mortgage coach. If anyone's on this call and you haven't been through the program, you know, we the say we advocate that you do is an understatement. I mean, it's it's what gave birth to this call that we do every Friday at Mortgage Coach. And so um, most everybody on the call has been through it. Michelle's been through it multiple times. And all the mentors I bring in to help moderate this call have been through it. And, and then Darren's add-on product, you know, that focuses more on teams is called Ludicrous. So I just wanted to make sure everybody knew that. Um, but you really should do them, you know, in same productivity first, and then do Ludicrous. It's kind of like 102. Uh, so that's awesome, man. Uh, so it sounds like a couple key takeaways for everyone is, you know, to wake up. One of the reminders is, you know, who am I and what I, who am I above and beyond what I do for a living and what I do for work and be intentional around that. Almost like a grateful, you know, journaling what you're grateful for. Is that kind of what you're referring there, JC? Yeah, I mean, it's it's waking up, like you said, and looking around and, and um, being grateful for everything else that's out there. Even when times are tough, you know, if you're if you're doing the right things constantly and consistently and, and, and those types of things, then you don't, re everything will fall into place. And uh, the fact that, you know, I, I do lead a team, uh, there's a lot for me to do there to help them grow and help them become the best loan officers that they can be, um, you know, the family part of everything, you know, it, it's an all-encompassing um, viewpoint, and I think it's just so important to hold on to that, both in the good times and the bad, because you don't want to get bigger than your birth riches either when things explode you know keep keep grounded to the core and things will happen love that Michelle any questions for JC or anything you want to add on to what he's saying no I think that's incredible I actually had to go to a spiritual advisor to hear that one <laughs> so I paid two hundred dollars for a spiritual advisor to tell me that my life doesn't my work does not define me <laughs> so it was pretty incredible but um, I agree. I, if you, if if we can figure out how, I don't, I don't like the word balance, but find that happy medium between work and, and life, and do the things 
we are be the great leader that we're supposed to be, um, I don't think we're going to go wrong. And I think that, JC, the reason why you're having success in that second quarter is because you refocus back on, on you know, okay, yeah, some terrible things happened, but you didn't skip a beat. You stopped. You went back in. You did your power hours. You did your you met with your team, you did what you need to do, and, and that's what just makes you different than, than others. It's just incredible. Absolutely. Love it. All right, hey, JC, I'm going to put you on mute. If you have more questions or things to bring to the table, uh, raise your hand and I'll bring you back in. Sound good? All right, let's see, Rick Lynn. I haven't heard from you for a long time. What's up, Rick? Rick, I have unmuted you. Are you there? Hey, Rick, are you? Uh, do you have your mic available? Yeah. All right, we put Rick back on mute. Hey, Scott Morris, what's up? How you doing, Scott? Doing great. Doing great. How, how's everybody in the group? We're doing good. We're doing good. We got a. Actually, you know, I figured it would be a really small group today, but uh, there was. It's, it is relatively small, but more people showed up than I thought. Uh, again, we're going to drive a pretty brief call today, so I was targeting 30 minutes, but I'll go long if folks want to. But uh, how would you answer Michelle's question, and and also, do you have any questions or any topics for today? Um, no new topics or questions, but I, I uh, would answer Michelle's question with, you know, I've been 20 plus years in the business, and been fortunate to be around a lot of good people outside the business and learned a long time ago and also I, I played a lot of sports and learned a long time ago that what you again what, what you do doesn't define you as a person like Michelle said and it's really hard to separate separate that at times because we put so much energy so much effort so much of our self-worth in our production our business is going and that sort of thing and one of my mentors who passed away recently just said, hey, Scott, that he's, he was in his late 70s or about 80 years old. He said, look, I have friends that are 100 millionaires. They're not the happiest people I know. I have friends that work are workaholics. They're not the happiest people I know. Happiest people I know are the ones that are able to balance their lives, have enough money to do what they like to do, whether it's, you know, fly a private jet or not. And... Um, they're able to, you know, give back to their community and, again, not be defined by the one thing that they do in life. So it is a fine, it's a, it's a balance. So, Michelle, what I do is, again, my, my business is we're hanging in there. We're doing pretty well, not as well as we like to this year. Um, so I try to always find things to do to make myself, my, make myself feel good about my business. Um, and also what, else, what other things I do in life. So what I do is I'm involved in a, in a, a group that uh, it's a charitable organization that gives back to the community. So I make sure that I attend those functions whenever they're available. And I meet new people there. And I'm giving back to the community. And sometimes it turns into business or I meet a, uh, an acquaintance or, or another guy in the group who was a financial planner, for example, and we had a lunch and we hit it off. And he's like, hey, I got a client for you. And then I'm like, oh, wow, I feel that made me feel great, and I was doing something kind of outside of my core focus in my business, but you know, doing something in part as part of my life that makes me feel good at giving back to the community, and it um, it turns turns into something positive at the end of the day. I also give back. Uh, you know, my kids play soccer, so I help I help manage their teams. I volunteer my time with that. I get to know the other 18 parents on the team and make sure they're having a good time being part of the group. In, in the course of that, um, it feels good to do something positive for other people, and it helps me define myself outside of, you know, the lack of uh, production or lack of uh, reaching my goals of, you know, uh, 75 million this year or so. So those are some things I do. But it's uh, it's a it's always a work in progress because you, you have these ebbs and flows, and and I would just say that. You know, like you said, you can't define yourself by by solely by your business, but sometimes step outside of it and look at what else you're doing in life to uh, make yourself feel good. If you feel good, then your business will be good too. Love it, love it, Scott. Thanks for jumping in. Put you back on mute. 
anyone has a question, and Scott, if you have anything else, just raise your hand, and I'll call on you. Uh, so I, I do want to make sure we we do some tactical hits. You know, just uh, I don't know how many folks on the call are using some type of online scheduling tool. So uh, if you are using it, whether you're using Calendly or something else, do post that in questions. I want to know how many folks are using some type of calendar, calendar online appointment meeting scheduling solution. If you're using one, let us know. That was a topic last week. I uh, want to make sure we, we continue that. I mean, obviously, we're going from big picture, meaning in life, what really gives you energy and your why to something really tactical. But you know, today's call is all about productivity, and I want to drive both tactics and big picture stuff. Uh, by the way, Michelle, you weren't on last week's call. Do you do do you use any type of uh, automated appointment platforms like this? Not yet. No. Have you considered it? Are you familiar with it? I I'm, I have. I have a couple of people that use something similar, like, you know, make an appointment with me, um, and it sends out there. I've thought about it. I just, um, I, I just, I don't think I'm good enough on my calendar because I, I have, still have everything in my head. So that's one thing I'm working on, but I would say it would be definitely beneficial. I mean, if, if I know what my, I, I live on my calendar, so if I know I have time available and a client, I just don't want a client to try to book a time and then it's not there when I can really make time for them. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. No, there was. I was surprised at uh, how many. Someone brought it up, and then I use it. My team uses it, and then you know there were a number of other people that you know did it. You know, as you can see, we had a a couple comments. So, uh, anyways, just want to see who's doing that from a productivity standpoint. Also, uh, we did talk about you know the perfect loan process, and I assigned a few homework assignments. I don't know if anybody has any questions on that. But I did um, provide a call I did with Coach Mike White. You know, this was a really interesting call because in it, we defined the, the, the 12 steps of a loan and the 15 milestones. And then Mike really brought it down to how much time are you spending per file. And um, it, was a, it was a really interesting exercise, super valuable, not necessarily recommending this for Memorial Day holidays, but I, I do think, uh, you know, the, the purpose of this call is productivity. That means reducing the time it takes you to do current tasks and making the things that you're doing higher impact. And, and, and so um, this is something for everyone to remember, check out. And then I also showcased Tim Raheem's perfect loan process, which, you know, while it's an old video that I did years ago, it's as valuable today as it was four years ago. And again, for anyone who is auditing your, your loan process, your borrower experience, how to make it more efficient, how to make it more memorable for the family, how to make it better, uh, two great homework assignments. And uh, if anybody does have a question or comment around that, bring it. Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna call one more person. And then, like I said, we're gonna wrap this call up in 10 minutes unless someone ask a questions to keep it going. So let's see, Alan White, I haven't talked to you for a long time. How are you doing, Alan? Uh, okay, can you hear me? We can hear you, Alan. Any, oh, okay. any, uh, any questions for the Insane Productivity you know, Mastermind right now or anything on your mind? Uh, no, I'm just really kind of listening in to uh, get some ideas for how to uh, update, upgrade my uh, my business here. So just kind of just kind of listening for some uh, for some tips that it's going to uh, drive me to the next level. Got it. Hey, have you have you been through Darren Hardy's Insane Productivity Program? <laughs> no, I have not. But something right. I definitely uh, want to look into. Yeah, I would uh, I would highly recommend it. But cool, Alan. Well, hey, I'll put you back on mute. If you okay. do have a question or a comment, uh, raise your hand and I'll unmute you or post it and go to webinar. Sound okay, good? great. Take care, my friend. Thank you. you. You too. Have a great weekend. Yeah, you too, buddy. Hey, uh, David Flurry, I've unmuted you. Any any questions? Anything you want to add to the conversation today? 
Hey, David. All right. The mic's not working with David. If anything shows up, let us know, Dave. I'll, I'll re-unmute you and uh, bring you into the conversation. Just let us know. And I'm going to try one more. Ed, I have unmuted you. Ed, are you there? Yes, I am, Dave. Good afternoon or good morning. <laughs> yeah, right. Good, good morning for me. What yeah. part of the country are you in? No, I'm in Fresno. It's just I've been here since 6, so it seems like it's afternoon. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, I started pretty early in my Myself. So, uh, any questions for the for the crew here, or oh, anything you want to bring into the conversation? Just a comment about what Scott had to say. I, I really uh, resonate with that. It's when you take the focus off. You know, when things are bad for you, you take the focus off yourself and your problems, and you, with a, with a, you know, gratitude and a heart and a desire to help others. Guess what happens? <laughs> Good things happen to you, and I, I just, I just think that it's a, it's a nice reminder to uh, to look outward at, at times when things are bad or you you think things are going. Just just take a step outside and help others, and when you help others, good things happen. Love that. Great great feedback. Well, uh, let me know if you have any other questions or you want to bring anything to the conversation before we wrap it up. Sound good? Thank you, Dave. Have a good one. Hey, you too. Hey, Michelle, I'm going to add a few thoughts, and then I'm going to hand it to you to wrap up this call, unless, again, if anyone has a question or a topic, let us know. But, uh, I, I, again, we, we, I, I think every one of these calls we do is like note after note, idea after idea. I mean, it's just flooded with do this, do that, tactics. Um, obviously, that this call has not been about that, but I – Coming into Memorial Day, I don't think that's necessarily the most appropriate um, way to rock it out and make the most of this holiday and this time off work. So I, I do think, um, you know, just on a personal note, I am going to go deeper at what am I grateful for, and I'm going to go super deep and focused on just helping anybody and everybody. And I know uh, with a try to wrap that around fun, have as much fun as I can this um for the next three days. Uh, that's going to be the way I come back on Tuesday, uh, recharged and ready to, to get after it um, as a super, again, trying to be high-performing business executive that's, you know, innovating an industry, driving the mortgage coach community. Uh, one thing I did want to showcase for folks and uh, just mention one of the things I'm trying to do at Mortgage Coach is, is take – the, the story of the total cost analysis to a bigger audience and take it directly to consumers. So um, I was on a, uh, a TV show uh, this week. So on Monday, I was on this Craig Sewing show, and I would love for you guys to check it out. Uh, I, I, I think it was about an eight-minute interview. And in this interview, I was really telling the mortgage coach story to consumers, you know, knowing that who watches this, it's families that are watching it, it's realtors that are watching it, it's, you know, folks in San Diego. And so Craig was interviewing me as CEO of Mortgage Coach, you know, kind of leader of our community. And it wasn't like I was selling Mortgage Coach to loan officers, which is my, you know, my day job. I was telling families, you know, why you want to work with a mortgage coach, you know, bragging about the fact that we have the most successful best loan officers in America. So one, check it out. Um, would love it if you would share it. Uh, but that, that's, again, the bigger mission at Mortgage Coach is changing the way people get into mortgage debt. And you can hear me talk about that in a very consumer direct way. So um, one ask I have is watch this eight minute video. I will post it into our group. But as you can see, it's also on my personal Facebook page. And with that said, um, we've got five minutes, so we're going to close it out. And um, Michelle, I'll let you uh, rock it out. Michelle, you're muted. Hey, Dave. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> it's like, oh, my gosh. Um, so I just want to wish everybody a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. Remember why, why we have this weekend. Um, I think it is a great weekend to recharge. Um, we are not insanely crazy right now. 
Um, spend time with your family because I believe what Dave said is correct and Darren says it all the time. You cannot recharge a battery that you cannot you cannot keep running on a battery that's empty. And I'm going to take this weekend as well and enjoy um, sit my horses in the trailer and go on a ride, uh, go on a ride somewhere and come back Tuesday completely recharged because I was the last the last week and I would I encourage everybody to work on your business plan as well and make sure that you're Right now, because our business is shifting, we have to adapt. Um, so just just adapt a little bit, make a couple of tweaks here and there to your business plan, and come back on Tuesday and say, "Let's go and let's finish out the last half of the year with a bang," because it should be an incredible ending of the year. Love, love, love that, Michelle. So I'm going to take a quick scan. Um, we don't have any questions. By the way, I did just post, you know, please watch and share this interview with your team. So I, it's my only ask and homework assignment for everybody, just this eight-minute video of an interview of me telling the mortgage coach story to a, a bigger audience and would love any advice you have uh, to tell that story better and to get more distribution. You know, we want to get the mortgage coach mission out to, uh, to home buyers and to realtors more directly so we can, we can bring them back to you as mortgage coaches. So um, with that said, folks, have uh, an incredible holiday. Uh, I am going to post the poll question I always do. Uh, you know, did you, would you think of today's call? So let us know what you thought of today's call. Obviously, we didn't share, talk about a lot of specific ideas, but hopefully it was a good 30 minutes of reconnecting with the community. And uh, if you have more questions, let us know. Michelle, thanks for showing up. All right. Thanks, everybody, again. Have a safe Memorial weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye.